Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of inferential statistics. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss the idea of critical region and one-tailed and two-tailed tastes. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on statistics, SPSS and R Studio, econometrics and economics. Let's begin with the idea of critical region. The critical region is the graphical representation of the level of significance. So it shows the region that corresponds to a predetermined level of significance that is alpha. So the type of the taste, whether it is one tailed or two tailed, that also affects the critical region. So it shows the range of values of the sample statistic within which if the value of the sample statistic lies, the null hypothesis is rejected and otherwise we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Let's understand the idea of one-tailed taste. So it is also known as a one-sided hypothesis or directional hypothesis, and it is related to the alternative hypothesis. So this hypothesis can measure the relationship between the sample statistic and the population parameter in one direction only. So suppose population parameter is theta zero and sample parameter is theta one. We are considering this example to understand the idea of one tail test and two tail test with the help of critical region. So our population parameter is theta zero and sample parameter is theta one. Now what is null hypothesis in this case? The null hypothesis says that theta zero is less than or equal to theta one or theta zero is greater than or equal to theta one. So how do we write in sentence? The sample statistic is lower than or equal to the population parameter or sample statistic is higher than or equal to the population parameter. On the other hand, we have alternative hypothesis, which says that theta zero is greater than theta one or theta zero is less than theta one. So sample statistic is higher than population parameter or sample statistic is lower than population parameter. So you can see uh, we are measuring the relationship between sample statistic and population parameter in one direction only. Whether sample statistic is higher than the population parameter or lower than the population parameter. So see the uh, critical region. The critical region is on the one side only, on the right side or on the left side. Either on the right side or on the left side. So here critical region is on the left side and in this figure, the critical region is on the right side. So if our sample statistic lies in the critical region, we reject the null hypothesis. And if it does not lie in the critical region, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Now see two-tailed test. The two-tailed test is known as two-sided or non-directional hypothesis. This means that we cannot identify whether the sample statistic is higher or lower than the population parameter. We can only check the possibility that both parameters are equal or not. So it considers the possibility of a change in either direction. It can be higher than the population parameter or sample statistic can be lower than the population parameter. So again, consider the same example. Population parameter is theta zero and sample parameter is theta one. So null hypothesis says that both are equal. There is no significant difference between sample and population parameter. An alternative hypothesis says that they are not equal. So we have this statistically significant difference between sample statistic and population parameter. But whether sample statistic is greater than the population parameter or less than the population parameter, that we cannot identify with the help of two-tailed test. So here, the critical region is on both sides. So critical region is alpha by two. We have the critical region on right hand side and left hand side. And therefore, it is known as two tailed test. So if you uh, find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.